Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today's session I am going to discuss about 8051 microcontroller program. So this program related to realization of logic cycles. So in this program I am taking on XOR gate. So how to realize the XOR gate function in 8051 microcontroller. So let us consider on XOR gate. So this is the symbol of XR gate. So this XR gate need two inputs. So one input is A and another input is B. It produce single output that namely called as Y. So this is the symbol of XR gate. So after drawing the symbol, now I write the truth table. So inputs of two variable output is single variable so a and b are input values so these two variable input it produces the four combinations of inputs 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the corresponding output so far this input is 0 0 the output is 0 0 1 so in xor gate both the inputs are different level outputs is 1 1 0 output 1 1 1 output 0 it is the truth table of uh, x circuit so based on this truth table we can write the program and we check the input values and output values so first instruction is move p1 comma as 0 fff so in this program i am using the two port in 8051 microcontroller, it has a 4 port, but in this program, I am using 2 port. Port 1 and port 2. So, this port 1 acts as input, port 2 acts as output port. So, this port 1, it has a 8 lines. 8 lines. It mentions P1.02, P1.7. So this 8 lines are considered as a P1. So P1 acts as an input port. P2 acts as an output port. So in this port, I only concentrate P2.0. So this line is for the output values. So Y is connected to P2.0. So first instruction is move P1 comma pound symbol 0 FFH. So this FFH is an immediate value. So this pound symbol is represent. This value is an immediate value. So after execution of this instruction, this FFH is transferred to P1. Now port 1 value FF. So all bits are set to be 1. Then move A comma P1. So whatever value present in port 1, the content is transferred to accumulator register. So after execution of this instruction, accumulator content is FF hash. Then you check the condition because port 1 acts as input port. So in this port, only we concentrate in this 2 bit. So LSB 2 bit only we concentrate. So this bit name is P. 1.0 the second bit is p1.1 so this two bit value based on this two bit value only the xor gate is produced the output so a is connect to p1.0 b is connect to p1.1 so this two bit value is transferred to input of a and b it releases the output y so jb p1.0 next JB represent jump on bit. If P1.0 is bit value, so set to be 1. So this condition is true. So once the condition is true, it go to the loop next. So it come to here. So P1.0, this bit is set to be 1. Then this condition is true, it goes to here. JB, P1.1 next to. So P1.1, so this bit value, so this bit also set to be 1. This condition also 
2. So P1.1 is said to be 1. So this condition is true, it go to the loop next to. Here clear P2.0. So P2.0 is the output value. So output value is 0. So P1.0 is connected to the input A. P1.1 is connected to the input B. P2.0 is an output value. So just to check this input value and output value with the truth table. So A and B value, both the values are 1. The corresponding output is 0. So both the values are high level, the corresponding output is 0. Then return. So return to the probe 1. Suppose you change the port 1 value. Now port 1 value is 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1. So in this case. So P1.01, P1.1, 0. So you will check once again this condition. So JB, P1.0, next. You just check P1.0. So P1.0 value is 1. So this condition is true. We go to the loop next. Then JB, P1.1, next. Week. So here you check the port 1.1 value. So this value is not a bit value. So this condition is false. So once the condition is false, it executes the next instruction. So P1.1 value is 0. Then it executes the next instruction set B P2.0. Now you set the value P2.0 value set to be 1. Then yes, jump lost. So it come to here. So lost the end of the instruction. You check the output value in the truth table. So A value 1, B value 0. So A value 1, B value 0, the output is 1. So here also output is 1. So once again you check the port 1 value. P1 value is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So once again the port 1 value is changed. You check the condition JB P1.0 next. So P1.0 value is 0. So this value is 0. So this condition is false. So once the condition is false, it executes the next instruction JB P1.1. So P1.1 value is 1. So this condition is true. It go to the loop next one. So P1.1 value is 1. The instruction is True. So once the instruction is true, it comes to here. Set B P2.0. So P2.0 value is set to be 1. So A value 0, B value 1, the result is 1. So this condition is checked with the truth table. Then yes, jump lost. It comes to here. So one more condition. One more possibility of P1 and P1.1. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now P1.0 and P1.1, both the values of 0. You check here, JB P1.0 next. So P1.0 value is 0. The condition is false. So it executes the next instruction, JB P1.1 next 1. So P1.1 value also 0. So this condition is false. It executes the next instruction clear P2.0. So P2.0 value is 0. Then yes jump lost. It has come to end of the instruction. You check this value with the truth table. So both the inputs are 0, 0. Output is 0. So this condition also satisfied. So likewise you realize any logic gate or any logic circles. You can follow the same procedure. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel.